Hi, uh, welcome back to the channel. So I have already made a video solution of first three problem Q1, Q2, and Q3, and that can be found in my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss uh, Q4. So in Q4, you are given a cyclic array. We like I hope everybody know what is cyclic array, nums and integer k. Now we have to do some partition. So partition this nums array into at most k subarrays. Now the range of a subarray is the difference between its maximum and the minimum value, right? So let's say in a subarray you have max and mean value, then the range of this subarray is going to be the difference between max and mean. Now the score of a partition is the sum of subarray ranges. So like the sum of ranges of all the subarrays that is your score, and we have to uh, maximize this score like so like we have to find out the maximum possible score among all cyclic partitions right so yeah uh, yeah it's a good problem let's see how we can approach it q4 is not very intuitive so i would like to explain it through the code itself because i believe i mean like you must and you would understand it more if i explain it through the code so uh, this is the working code so what the idea in this approach is that let's say you are given this array right this is your given array nums uh, this is a cyclic array so let's configure it in this form this is a cyclic array and as per the problem statement we have to divide it into at most k number of groups right such that the score is maximized and the score of each group is the difference between uh, max and mean so max minus mean right summation of summation of max minus mean among all the subarrays right so the idea here is that um <clears throat> let's consider a subarray let's consider a subarray i claim that i will be kind of creating this subarray only only uh, for those uh, situations when when the le when either left one is the max and the right one is the mean or this is the first case the second case or the left like the leftmost element in this subarray is mean and the rightmost is max i claim that this would be the most optimal approach if you uh, like if you follow this way you would be getting the most optimal one let's take one example let's say <clears throat> you have 1 2 uh, again 1 and 3 right and we have to divide it into two subarrays so this is one of the partition let's say i took this subarray and then this one here uh, your score is max minus mean which is one plus here max minus mean which is zero one now let's take one another example let's say i have taken this one and this one like one two and one three then the score is one plus the score is three minus one two which is three see uh, this is one of the I mean, so this is how I kind of figured it out that, I mean, why max and mean or mean and max would be the most optimal approach. I don't have proof for that yet. I'm, I mean, I have to kind of uh, do some lengthy maths to prove it. But as per the intuition, the most optimal one, like most optimal approach would be when you have mean and max or max and mean at the leftmost or the rightmost position. So let's like assume that is the solution that essentially is I mean like it's just a matter of uh, having a proof for that but yeah it will work. Now uh, if that is true what we can do we know that uh, let's consider the case first. So let's first find out the max element in this whole array like in this cyclic array. Let's say uh, I found the max index. Let's call it mx index. Okay? mx index mx index so this is the index where the maximum element is present and we have uh, two ways to keep this max element uh, like in the partition the first case is when this mx value is like is the starting position because we know that for a subarray your uh, first number can be either max number or mean number right max mean or mean max so let's consider i so in the first case when this when this maximum number is the starting number so this would be the max number this would be the corresponding mean number in this subarray then again this would be the second max and then this would be the uh, mean number and so on right so this is the case when uh, this number is the starting index the second case when this number is the since this is a cyclic partition so there would be some another uh, 
some previous partitions as well now the second case when this max number is the end like the rightmost number of a partition survey let's say this is mx and so th what would be this one this should be mx index plus 1 right so this would be the number that would present at the next index mx1 mx dax let's call it mx dax then this mean dash and so on right so so there are two cases either this maximum number like uh, the number the maximum number is are is the starting number because we know that uh, in a subarray like in the partition subarray like whether first number could be max and the right would be mean or the first number would be mean and the right number would be max so the first case when do you configure this maximum number as a starting number as a starting number the second case when you configure this mx number as a end number of like of a partition right now that's what i'm doing here so now let's look at the code this is your num set this is k this is the size this is the maximum score this is a long value int max into 1000 or something right because we know that like we have to find out the max number that's why i have used infinity here because i can make it minus infinity so this is the uh, infinity value now what i have done here i have found the maximum index the index where this maximum element is present then i have uh, gone so i have taken two cases the first case when when your uh, mx index is the starting value and the second case if your mx index plus 1 is the starting value so see if your mx index plus 1 is the starting value then like so uh, conversely your mx value is the end value right because we know that we have to make the partition with by taking complete number so uh, let's take it this way let's say you have three number if i am saying that let's say this is the maximum number if i have taken this array the, right if i have taken this array like this mx as a starting number then this become end but in the second case let's say i have taken this number as a starting number then ultimately this become end like right right like, like conversely so <coughs> that's what i have done here i have taken these two cases for uh, starting index as mx index and mx index plus 1 if you take mx index plus 1 then your mx index would become the uh, last element of the previous partition now after that uh, i have taken three variables a b and c uh, i'll tell you what this does this a will tell you what is the maximum score you can get by uh, making partition of at most k so a of i will be the maximum score maximum score by doing by doing by doing i partitions by doing i partition right so because we know that like we can take at most like we can do at most k partition so it could be either zero partition one partition two partition or most uh, at most k right so i'll explain what i'm doing here but after that like once your uh, a is built we can just easily find out the score for this case for case number 1 or case number 2 so just update your score maximum score is equal to maximum of max score comma score and at the end return your maximum score now let's quickly look at what i am doing in this part <clears throat> so here what i am doing uh, for index j equals to i since uh, this is your starting index so we have to take modulo right because this is a cyclic array so you like if you start from any index so the next index is i plus 1 i plus 2 but if it is a cyclic array then uh, the next would be i plus j modulo n to to do in it in a, like in a cyclic form uh that's what this j modulo n does now i am starting from index i and uh, i'm going through i plus n and j plus plus because i have to do modulo with n now here what i'm doing for each corresponding j i mean for each index j i'm trying to see what is the maximum score you can get if you do l number of partition so this l can go from k to 0 right the max the, like at max k and at min 0 so here a of l is nothing but uh, i'll tell you what this a b and c stores this b will store this b will store the maximum score so this b of i will store maximum score 
by doing i minus 1 partition i minus 1 partition and by taking by taking current number this ith number right this ith number by taking ith number as mean number see we know that in a sub array your score is max minus mean right so for the maximum number the contribution is plus and for the mean number is contribution is minus so this b of i is nothing but maximum score by doing i minus 1 partition and by taking ith number as a mean number see here b of l minus 1 is nothing but maximum of b of l minus 1 comma a of l minus 1 a of l minus 1 will tell you the score maximum score by doing i minus 1 partition i have already done i minus 1 partition and by taking ith number as a mean number and we know that for the mean number the contribution is negative right negative and similarly c will t c of i is nothing but the max score by doing i minus 1 partition and by taking ith number as a max number so this is for c and this is for b this is for c b b and c c here c of i uh, c of l minus 1 is nothing but maximum of c of l minus 1 comma maximum score by doing i min l minus 1 partition plus since i have taken this as a maximum like i have configured this as a maximum number then i have taken the contribution plus i hope you have understood this part now uh, since you, like we know that b and c is already present there now a of l is nothing but maximum of a of l comma now a of l is the score that can be achieved by doing i partition right l number of partition maximum of so see in b we have configured that number as a mean number so now i have to take current number as a max number so that's why i have do it like i have added the partition like so i have added the contribution plus here and similarly for c i have already configured the max number so here i have taken the contribution negative and that's it uh yeah that's all about this explanation uh, i mean if you have any difficulty to understand please try to comment and uh, i'll explain them right so yeah uh, i'll quickly go through once again i'm not sure whether everybody understands so b of i is nothing but the max score by doing i minus one partition and by taking ith number as a mean number so for b i have already considered the mean number right since you have already considered the mean number now i have to configure the max number and for max number we know that the score is nothing but max number plus minus mean right so we can also take it this way so the contribution here is negative contribution here is positive so this is plus this is minus because for c i have already considered the maximum so i have to configure mean value and uh, so that is how i build a and now for b and c we already know what is uh, how b and c will be calculated b would take the mean and uh, c would take the max yeah that's all about the uh, solution of uh, four problem if you find the video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank thanks for watching have a nice day